Hi everyone, it's Solvi. Today we're going to be drawing some of the boys from My Hero Academia. We're actually going to be changing it up this time because we are going to be working in grayscale and then coloring using gradient maps and adjustment layers, which is something that I've only done once or twice, um, <laughs> so it was definitely a little bit of trial and error. I used a photo reference off screen to get the perspective on this pose right. Anyways, you can see that I'm going in and I'm finalizing my sketch, adding faces, uh, details in the clothes. Um, I had a lot of fun coming up with little Easter eggs in everybody's clothing and accessories. Of course, I'm also lying to myself because I think every single one of these characters would only wear t-shirts and basketball shorts, so I'm pretending that they would be a little bit more fashionable than I think they really would be. Except for Bakugo, of course, who is a fashion icon. You can see that he's rocking a My Chemical Romance t-shirt in today's illustration. Fashion notes aside, uh, you can see that I've moved on to rendering. I don't do a lot of detail in my facial sketches before I just jump to the painting stage, to be perfectly honest. That's also part of why I usually skip um, ahead in my speed paints to where I already have a sketch. I just think that part is not super interesting to watch. I will say that rendering in grayscale went a lot faster than uh, rendering in color normally goes just because you're only dealing with values. I will say I think the values in this piece ended up being super clear, but it definitely took um, a bit of fiddling to get the colors right, um, and I think that the color scheme in this piece is definitely atypical for my work, so you'll have to let me know if you think that's a good thing or a bad thing. For some reason, I always find Todoroki's face super easy to draw. Um, it always kind of just clicks into place. You can see I really honestly barely spend any time on it. Versus Bakugo actually took me forever this time. Normally I can do him no problem, but I don't know, something was off. You can see that I'm also strategically moving from face to face, rendering a little bit of the clothing and completely ignoring those shoes. Shoes already give me a hard time, but these guys all wear sneakers, and honestly, if I'm gonna be drawing shoes, I usually prefer to draw either heels or boots. Sneakers are very challenging for me. I did have a lot of fun, however, with some of the other little accessories and details. Um, I gave all of the boys matching friendship bracelets. They were originally going to be All Might colored, um, but that ended up looking kind of muddy, so I think they just ended up staying plain black, but those are All Might friendship bracelets. You can see I finally started in on Kirishima's sneakers there. Um, I think I did the best job on his sneakers, and then I started to get tired of drawing shoes. Um, so they didn't turn out great. <laughs> on the flip side though, I'm actually working right now on one of my favorite details in the piece, which is Izuku's All Might phone charm, which I think turned out super cute. You'll notice that I also leave his phone lock screen blank for now, and that's because I go in and add an image in later. Here, we finally started adding color. I separated the background and the characters into two separate layers so that I could manipulate the colors and levels separately. Um, I'm doing all the skin tones first to sort of set a base. You can see that I'm playing around with a lot of different colors and layers here. Again, this is a super experimental process. You can see for a while I was keeping the background pretty dark, but ultimately I ended up going with this much lighter color scheme, and I think that it feels more fun and vibrant, so I'm glad I decided to do that. I also played a lot with overlaying different um, camera elements into this piece, um, and I ultimately didn't end up doing that. <laughs> you can see that I've finally added Izuku's phone background, which is a drawing of Bakugo that I did a couple of months ago. A little Easter egg. A couple more adjustment layers made the light a little bit more yellow, a little bit more golden summer afternoon, and there we have it. I actually think that the faces turned out really great in this piece, so I'm including close-ups of everybody. You'll have to let me know who your favorite is in the comments below. And that's the final piece. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think in the comments below.